Hello guys, Matthew here from UChat. So in today's live, I'm going to talk about the WhatsApp Cloud API, okay? We are releasing this as a new channel to all accounts, okay? So you should able to find this account and uh, the bots, okay? You can see that um, um, you can, uh, let me show you is, you can start with uh, 1000 session message for free every month, okay? That is offered by Facebook and you can directly integrate with uh, WhatsApp Cloud API. However, you need to create an app, okay? That's the current workaround, current solutions. And uh, it support all the regular message and the template message. Unfortunately, the product catalog message currently is not supported with Cloud API, okay? Uh, if, so if you want to build a WhatsApp e-commerce, you still need to use um, you know, uh, 36 dialogue uh, from um, from them so that you can build your native e-commerce um, checkout, okay? And also here in this live, I just want to share you the help documents and the videos you need to watch before you can use, okay? This takes um, some time and, uh, you know, you need to watch through everything so that um, you can make it work. So now let's get started. First of all, um, as always, that you can start with UChat for 14 days free trial, okay? You can register it from our account, uchat.com.au slash register, okay? You get 14 days free trial, and also you need a Facebook developer account. So let me show you the dashboard. So if you go to UChat, you will find that is a new channel that is WhatsApp Cloud, okay? So uh, let me disconnect my account over here. So you move, move your mouse over here, you will see the videos, okay? This is the videos um, you can, I so for example, you can click and then it will open up the window, okay? You can enlarge that so that you can see exactly the step-by-step -step tutorials, how to get started, okay? And also you can click to our help documents. So you click learn more, you will be redirect to these documents. You can also find this at the channels and you will find this WhatsApp Cloud API, okay? So we have very detailed documentations show you how to set up a mob, uh, Facebook app. And then the next step is how to get the webhooks from your chat. And then you need to paste the webhook in the app you created, okay? This is the only step you need to do. After that, you can go to uh, start with the test numbers, okay? You might need to add your own phone number because, um, the test number that Facebook offers, they can only send it to verified phone numbers, okay? You can send unlimited message, unlimited the template message, but that is only limited to a verified phone number, okay? So you can verify your phone numbers in the app, and then you can start building your chatbot, okay? You can build that, um, um, let me see, you can build that visually with our Flow Builder, Okay, uh, it has list buttons and also um, is, it support template message. Okay, you can, for example, this is a template message. This is all the message type it support. And uh, uh, it have send buttons, options, send cards. And also we have the document uh, videos to show you how to get started with the template message. Okay, basically you need to uh, submit your template message for Facebook to uh, review and approve, okay? After it got approved, you can sync that template message back to UChat, okay? And we have, you know, some best practice for you to um, to watch, be, uh, you know, to get your template message approved and also the different categories of the message template and also um, how to create the template message and how to submit to Facebook to get it approved. And after it approved, you can go to content, 
message template and sync all the template message back to your chat. And then how you can use the template message. Okay, you can use directly in the flow builder. Okay, this is one way. And also you can send, you can use that in the broadcast. Okay, you can add the conditions um, to make sure that if the user is within 24 hour window, you don't need to send the template message. Okay, and also if you have the emails, you can also select, choose to send them email instead of the template message. Okay, only send, you can choose to only send the template message if the user is out of 24 hour window and if and also you do not have that email okay that's totally depending on you but you can actually send the template message in the broadcast okay that's the best practice how to send that and also you can send the template message right now in the live chat so um in the whatsapp channel if the user is out of 24 hour window uh you can actually we have a message that is you can select that is I want to send the template message. Okay. And after that, you can select a flow to send it to the user. You just need to make sure the first message in that flow is a template message. Okay. And it doesn't auto continue to the next message. So that will work. You can use that in um, the live chat. And also, uh, you chat have published our own mobile apps for you to handle the live chat. Because um, if you are using WhatsApp Cloud API or any WhatsApp business um, a business API, you won't be able to use this same number in your mobile, whether it's business app or your personal um, WhatsApp app. Um, with you chat the mobile apps you can actually reply to your clients you can receive the push notifications and you can check the contacts check the details so a lot of things you can you know uh, handle these um, conversations with your clients so you can same also send the template message if the user is out of 24 hour window in our mobile apps okay that's how you can use the template message. And also we have, I have added the WhatsApp native e-commerce product catalog message. And if you scroll down, I have three demos. Okay. Most of these demos are done with 360 dialog. Okay. We are having um, partner pricing with them. So you can start with $5 per month for 1000 session message. And the only limitation now is if you click in, is a cloud API currently the message type they support is only list buttons. It doesn't have support for the product catalog message yet. Okay. We already have this feature. So as long as the cloud API support this message type, you can also build the same native e-commerce experience with WhatsApp cloud API. So that's the doc. Uh, you know, the um, um, trainings and help documents to show you how to exactly do that. Okay. It's a long list, but uh, you can skip for now because currently this is not supported for cloud API. If you are using a 3.6 dialog, you can use right away. Okay. All this is for free. And after you done with the testing number, uh, you can connect. Uh, we have the help documents to show you how to add your own business number. Okay. Basically you verify this number hasn't to be registered in WhatsApp whatsoever. Okay. You have to be as a delete this number. If you are using previously, um, uh, with WhatsApp business or WhatsApp personal, you have to complete delete this number. Okay. Not is not an install the app. Okay. You have to delete this account, delete this number, or you can start with the new phone number. Okay. And as you can verify this new number by text message or phone call. And after that, this is the process. We, you chat do not have the control. Okay. You are dealing with Facebook directly. And it's not like you are dealing with six dialogue. You can create a ticket. You can follow up. You can ask them questions. This is you need to dealing with Facebook 
and you need to provide, you need to verify your Facebook business ma manager and you need to, um, you know, choose a, a, a good display name, not good display name, the display name that comply with the rules, okay? And the first, this is the difficult part, is first of all, um, we have gone, we have go through the process, okay? It takes us around uh, uh, four or five days to finish and complete. And first of all, you they will uh, uh, approve your display name, okay, for your WhatsApp business account. And then they will get, uh, they will approve the certificate for, um, they will give you a certificate, okay? And after that, you will receive the email from Facebook about this new number just, uh, you know, just uh, approved. And after that, you need to, you will see in your WhatsApp business manager that this number, the status is not pending anymore, okay? The status will change to connected. So only when you see the stat status for the new number is connected, and then you can switch uh, from the test number to a real phone number, okay? And then it will work. Um, but this is, you know, this process is, um, uh, you need a patient and also you need to comply the rules they have. So after you get the real phone number, UChat actually support you to unlink and the link back to, first of all, you can unlink from the test number. And after that, you can link back th that that flow with the real phone number, okay? The and this is the easy process you can do. You will not lose anything, okay? You will not lose the uh, the logic you build in the flow builder. You will not lose the contact. It's just uh, like uh, you know uh, switch uh, numbers and the switch flows. Very easy to do, and. Um, after that, um, you can sync this. You can sync the numbers, the real phone numbers, back to your uh, WhatsApp cloud, and uh, yeah, that's that's basically the process. Okay, and uh, this is the pricing. We explain a little bit about the pricing, and uh, you need to have um, a free trial. You can use right away. Okay, and also if you want to upgrade, our currently business plan is ten dollars per month for one bot. Uh, that is uh, 1,000 bot users and five members, okay? And for the WhatsApp Cloud API, you need to check that pricing. They have very, um, I think, uh, different countries have different pricing. And also they have uh, the categories uh, as user initiate and biz business initiate session message. So the cost is different and you need to check their pricings to understand, okay? So WhatsApp Cloud API offer free 1,000 session message every month. Okay, that is shared, I think is um, for, I think it's for, I'm not sure. I, I will check that later. So I'm, I'm not going to um, confirm this now. And also we have some documentations about to verify your uh, Facebook business manager as well. So if it's an, verified business you will you will have some kind of limitation okay you can send template message to up to only 50 unique users in the 24 hour window however you can respond to any unlimited custom initiate conversations okay that is limitations for the unverified business manager okay but if you verify your business then you will have very generous limits okay so that's how the difference for the verified and unverified business. And also you can follow the, uh, you can provide the necessary documents to verify your business. Uh, you can follow these tutorials as well. You can get your business verified, okay? Uh, for different countries, they require different legal documentations. You can find out uh, what kind of documents required and uh, follow the, um, you know, uh, the requirement from Facebook and get your Facebook business manager verified. So that's about that. And uh, yeah, and also, 
uh, we have some um, rules about the display name so that you can follow that rules to get your display name approved. This is very strict, okay? I got a lot of my numbers, um, you know, having the issues with the display name. Uh, so you just need to follow that rules. And also we have the frequently asked question. First is how to reply the clients uh, in the WhatsApp channel. Uh, you can reply on our live chat dashboard, or you can download our mobile apps and reply on the phone. And uh, can I use uh, current mobile WhatsApp number in the WhatsApp call API? So this is you need to delete, okay? If you are already using that phone number with any WhatsApp cloud, uh, WhatsApp products, you need to delete that number, delete that account, okay? Not install the app. So, and also we have the difference between 360 dialog with cloud API so that you can, you know, choose uh, which one you want to go with, okay? And uh, yeah, so that's about uh, all the documentations we have. And for the more details, you can check the uh, videos, uh, check these two videos. You can get started easily, very uh, very easy, okay? Basically, it have everything. And these documents is just in case you need something um, uh, something else. So uh, that's about the live today. So I don't think we have any questions. Anyway, so that's uh, for this week. And see you guys in the next time. Bye.